Actors in Hollywood this afternoon gathering in the name of Breonna Taylor, as Tom was just talking about. Mm -hmm. A young black woman who was shot and killed in her own apartment by police in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, today would have been her 27th birthday. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar is live in Hollywood, where protesters have been making themselves heard all day. Christine? They have. It is a very loud crowd, but it is a peaceful crowd. I want to show you behind me. There are folks here dancing to music holding up their signs, lots of honking as the cars drive through. Now, earlier they were sitting in the intersection, but since then they've been off to the side. So we haven't seen any sort of issues arise. It truly is a peaceful protest. And I want to bring in one of the organizers here. You helped put this together. I did. Uh, what was the goal of today? Uh, the goal is to commemorate uh, Breonna Taylor on her 27th birthday, and her murderers have not yet been arrested. So our message very clearly is to arrest her murderers and give her justice. Now, we're in front of the iconic Laugh Factory. Have they participated? Are they joining with you in this? Oh, uh, 100%. Jamie, the owner of the Laugh Factory, I sent him an email, and I said I want to do something special for Brianna's birthday. And literally within 10 minutes, he picked up the phone and called me and said, what do you need? So he's offered bathroom for our female volunteers. He's offered electricity for our DJ. He allowed me to go on his uh, live Instagram and talk to 1.5 million people and promote our message of peace for Brianna. So uh, Jamie is not new to this. Jamie's been fighting for justice for my people for 35 years. I also want to thank um, Enrique, their VP of operations, for helping us plan everything. And it's an amazing place. Can you describe the mood out here for those watching at home? Man, the mood out here is just so peaceful. It's so loving. Everyone is just here to celebrate Brianna. They're dancing. They're hugging. They're meeting each other. There's kids here. Um, I, I can't express how warm my heart is seeing everyone come out for her today. When people drive past here, when people watch this on the news, what do you want them to take away from this? I, I want them to take away that we're Americans, number one. Um, and that we need justice and we need it now. We're no longer going to stand by and allow this country to treat any of us besides like we're citizens, besides that we're Americans and we deserve to have justice served and that Brianna, it is her birthday and she would have been 27 today. I'm 30 years old. She should be here celebrating her birthday and she is not. And that it's a privilege a lot of us get to have is to celebrate her birthday. I will never take for granted celebrating her birthday ever again in my life. And so what is the plan? How long do you anticipate being here? We originally thought we would have a curfew, uh, but thank you, ACLU, for um, doing what you had to do. So we're here until the sun goes down. We want to send people home before night, um, but we're here until, until that happens. So it's really up to the people. If they want to go home, they can go home right now, but I know I'm going to be here until the sun goes down. And last question for you. Have you only had a positive response out here? It sounds as though everything has gone very well. You're not having anybody yell at you. Has it been positive? Completely positive. Maybe there have been one or two people yelling, but I, I don't think about those people. Uh, my message is very clear. Brianna Taylor, Taylor deserves justice. Um, but everyone else who's here to support, that's my focus. I, I'm here for these people and anyone else who's not with us, get out of the way. And I have to say, I know it's been such an exhausting week for so many people. I'm sure lots of people out here have protested in other places. This is the first protest I've seen this much dancing and music. Yeah. Yeah. Is it also a time to just kind of release? Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, there's something about my people being black. We're not really allowed to be joyful a lot because we have to deal with racism. We have to deal with discrimination. So my message very clearly today was I want us to dance and smile and laugh because they hate it when we're happy. They want to see us sad. So today is about loving and celebrating life, period. So um, it was important after the last two weeks of just watching the news for everyone to decompress and be able to go home uplifted rather than so defeated. Thank you for your time. So again, we're here at the corner of Laurel Canyon and Sunset, and as you can see, a peaceful protest underway, and they will likely be here for several more hours. Back to you guys in the studio.